This one's going to be on Caliber DB. It's a uh, command line way to access your Caliber ebooks uh, database. So this one's a command line program, but um, it's not going to replace your GUI program because it doesn't have a lot of features that I would want. So that's why I say it doesn't replace it. Although it's still useful for, you know, basic stuff like searching, adding, removing. Instead of firing up uh, Caliber, uh, which takes a little bit of time usually. But uh, you can do this from the command line and look up, you know, stuff relatively quick and uh, access basic functions, I'll say. So we're just going to learn like searching, adding, and removing stuff. So how do we do this here? Uh, Caliber DB. So you type in Caliber DB, and we want to list out uh, what we have in our library. Now, if you have like one library, you probably don't have to do this part. But I have multiple libraries, so I have to tell it uh, the exact path. So I do a library path, and then uh, you know my comic here. I have other ones like textbooks and, and stuff like that. So this one's my comic, and if I do uh, listing here, you can see that. It shows the listing of uh, what I have in my uh, comic library. And so, what did all these things means? The number in the side here, these are the ID. And you know, this is the title. And basically over here uh, are the author. If you didn't put any author, it would just say unknown. So that's how you'll list stuff out. Now if you wanna search for something, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. See here, instead of typing just list, we can do dash, oopsie, what the hell, let's go back. Uh, dash S here, and then you type in the word that you want to search for. So let's say we want to search out just Naruto's only. So you do Naruto, and there you go, it just filters out all the other ones um, and just has, you know, Naruto in it. Now, if you want to do like multiple strings, um, you can do, what was that? Instead of just typing Naruto, we have to do it in quotes. And then the string that we want to add to it, let's say we wanted to uh, type in Naruto and manga in here, right? So we just type in, um, what was that, manga? And it ended with the quotes. And that's pretty much it. Um, when you want multiple strings, it's just using quotes. And you can see that it filters out that even more. It doesn't have to be in the right order or anything, so you can do, um, you know, let's say, no, let's go back here, delete this one, and we'll just say manga Naruto, does, it doesn't matter the order, right, it'll still filter it out, even if you go, let's see here, what do we got, uh, let's say 609 or something, right, and I'll just filter out, you know, the other one. So as many strings as you want to uh, put in there, it's fine. It doesn't have to be the right order or anything. Now this one we're just filtering out titles, but uh, it can be tags or any metadata that you want to, uh, you know, search for, like the author of it, any tags that you have, even the title, whatever uh, category you made up, or whatever. Uh, it will just search for any of those strings. So that's how you would search stuff real easy. Um, other things like adding and removing, okay. So if you wanna add some stuff, let's see here, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, let's list it out first though. Let me see here, we us go back to listing out our database here. Right, so we have um, 334 here. And if you wanna add some new stuff here, uh, let's say we add in uh, this RAR file here. You can add in anything that Caliber supports. So they support, you know, CBZs, CBRs, zip files, and RAR files for comics, and PDFs and text and EPUBs and all that. Uh, it's all good. So to add stuff, let's do this, and we we'll do add, and uh, we'll add in this RAR file. Just tab here, and that's how you would add it to uh, our database here. So we'll list it out again, and you see that the new um, thing has just been added here, right? Um, if you want to, let's say, add all these um, 
PDFs at the same time. We can do the same stuff that we did earlier. What is that? Add. And let's do delete that, delete that. And we want to do like all the PDFs. So we'll do um, star dot PDF for all, all the PDFs in this current folder. And it'll just uh, add those suckers. There we go, we just added that. And we'll list it out again. Right, and just adds all that PDFs here uh, that we just did. And as far as removing it, uh, pretty simple too. You just do, what is it here? This one, instead of list, we do a remove. And removing is just uh, knowing you know the ID of it. So if, if you want to remove this one, then you would have to say, um, you know, type in was a three, five, four, and that will remove um, you know that file right there from the library. And so we list it out again, right? It will just delete that one, or you can actually delete in ranges, um, right? Here you go. If you want to delete all of this, uh, these three that we just added, what you want to do is you can't just type in, um, what was that, 355 five to, what was that, 357. The, the last one doesn't actually count. So if you want to delete all of this, um, if you do this right now, it'll just delete these two only because the last one doesn't count. So if you want to make it count, you have to put in the next uh, number after that, so it's actually three, five, eight, and then it'll delete all of this. So if you want to delete multiples, this is how you would probably do it. And then now we'll list it out again. It should be able to delete those ones. And there we go. This is where we're back to normal like we had before. So that's how you would add, remove, and search and uh, and all that stuff. But as far as for opening the file, there's no command to open it. So we can actually use um, what we learned last time, which was uh, the V discover shit that we did, right? Or well, this is how I do it. And if you don't understand this part, I'll post you a video in the description because this is uh, an old video. But uh, this is if you want to search for Naruto 615 or something, you can go Naruto 615, right? And this one is just using mlocate and vim. And you can see that we have this cbz files. And if I want to open it, I just hit uh, F8. And there we go. I have my uh, manga that I can read. So that's how I would open it because uh, there's no commands to in uh, Calibre to uh, open it. So this is how I do it. Uh, so that's it for that. And other stuff you can do. Well, I usually use functions for this. So I'll show you my functions. Uh, to make this easier. Basically whatever we just did before it's uh, shortened up here. So I use uh, CMX for comics here, right, prefix. And I have different uh, libraries like I said. So one for comics, um, you know, other stuff here and then textbooks. So I separate them out. And if you want to do that also, it's great. But I'll show you what it does here. Uh, basically everything we did before. So if I want to do like CMX, comics, uh, by default we'll just list it out. So we don't have to type list. And I'll list out the stuff. If we wanted to um, search for something, what is that? we can do uh, list-s and we can search for um, what is that we did before? Naruto manga. Right. That's it. And we'll search and there we go. That's how we search it. And other stuff here. Uh, we did add some stuff. So let's add the max. Add um, the CBZ files then. Right. Let's add um, uh, all the PDFs files that we did before. So dot PDFs. Hurry the fuck up, come on. There you go. And to confirm that, we'll list it out again. 
there we go we added that sucker and the three PDS files uh, and then you can remove it by using um, what is that remove and we're doing a range or something so we do uh, what is that three five eight through is that three six two to delete all those suckers and there we go this is how you would delete um, ranges and stuff like that right so that's how I do that and if I do this for other ones like um, textbooks and stuff like that um, I can do that let's say for example let's do what is that see max textbook right and this will list out all my textbooks here and there you go that is it for um, you know for comics and, and um, how do I do that for my comics and everything and handling caliber from the command line just using basic functions like uh, searching adding and removing um, although like I said it's not gonna replace your you know your uh, GUI caliber and there's also other stuff you can do but uh, you can check out their man page which uh, they have online here which has more features or whatever that you can add in so that's it for the basics of what I would use it for and uh, real quick and easy from the command line that'll be it for this one